Okay, hopefully these two will hold each other up. It might allow us to latch back onto them again. A little bit of a slide there again, that's going to kill her excess speed. Okay, Will's within the slip stream now too. Okay. Good morning time, good evening time, good afternoon time. Go faster, go faster. Whatever the case may be in your part of the world, this is uh, going to be a real quick one. And no, I'm not uh, going to bore y'all to death with sim racing. But uh, I did want to show you guys something. And yes, I am trying to show off this LG OLED TV. But not for the reasons you think, not because I want to be like, hey, look at me, but because I have an awesome connect for TVs. And this is an LG OLED TV, which makes it great for gaming. So, and when I say a great deal at a stack for a 75 inch LG OLED, that is a great deal. Smart TV, 4K, AI, all the latest and greatest features, whatever, whatever. So yeah, if you need an LG TV, well not just LG, Samsung, uh, uh, shoot. Samsung, LG, uh, God damn it. I always have brain freeze at the worst times. Uh, there's another TV that uh, seems like it's an economic TV, but they're good for gaming. Uh, shit. There's Vizio and there's something with a T. T, uh, damn. Anyway, I but yeah, I got an awesome connect for that. If you want a 65 inch Samsung, the uh, crystal vision joints. Now that one may be LCD, but I can get you a 65 inch one of those for six bits. Maybe a little better, maybe maybe 550. Maybe I can do that one for five. But yeah, I got an awesome TV. Tell you guys about TV Connect. At the same time, I'm also trying to hook some guys on the sim racing. Hopefully, good. You know, I was immediately when I saw you do sim racing rig. Now I find that you are the man. Like this guy had like a hundred for some racing stuff so i was like oh man i gotta have one of those now like i said i don't i don't have that type of system but i'm hoping that you can see the fun involved in the competitive aspect as far as sim racing and uh maybe maybe that in itself will uh trigger some of you guys to want to join in now like i said when the times Uh, they like bike of e bike like the reason you know part of it. So get a little bit of that with this sim racing stuff because you can set your car up just like a real car you know as far as motor transmission brakes suspension all that you can tune all that in the game or the pc whatever you use and um you know you can basically live live out your fantasy your dream car you know cars that we can't afford i can't afford but 
I can create one in the virtual world and it's almost just as good. So uh, I damn sure can't go out and buy myself no Lamborghini Diablo, but I can set myself up one on the PC and come as about as close as to driving one, you know, as possible in the virtual world. All right, so that's it far as that goes. Like I said, I ain't going I ain't going to bore you guys with that too much. I said initially that uh, I was trying to convert some e-bikers to sim racing, but I'm going to try to do the opposite. I'm going to try to build my sim racing channel up, and I'm going to try to convert some sim racing guys to e-biking. Whatever way I can get people to cross over, that's what we're going to do. So, anyway, that's it. That's all of that. Let me uh, let me shut this down. That's Smokey, by the way, guys. My little badass cat. He bad as shit. Look at him. He is just bad. Okay. All right, we're going to go out here and... Uh, <clears throat> mess with this damn... This damn bike some more. Shoot, I'm gonna have to come back and get that. Uh, well, maybe not. Uh, yeah, man. I, if I can get a couple of you dudes to join, I, you know, I just, I just want <laughs> some company on the e-racing scene because I don't know none of them dudes uh, and I need some other rookies get back get back in there oh uh, so yesterday we took this thing for a ride and I'm gonna tell you it didn't do too bad under this under the settings that I had I definitely well that's what I'm probably going to do now is uh go back into this app and do some adjustments on the uh, line amps and the phase amps and the acceleration uh, timing and a little bit of that so uh, let me see what fat bikes do I recommend for big and tall men sheesh Oh, man, I don't have a good answer on that one, bro. I know they do have some really large uh, fat bike, MTB style bikes. I saw one that a guy was riding. It was huge. I mean, that thing was huge. I can't recall what type of bike that was, though. Uh, like a high... It's, sound like a highlander something like that man that that bike was a monster it had big wheels they were still fat tires but they were huge um maybe louie know he knows every damn thing maybe hey lou you know uh what those bikes are man but uh let me um let me see another thing i want to do too is uh i know you guys can't see it but there's some kind of residue that are on these forks look like some grease or something got on them i don't know but i'm pretty sure i can get that off with some wax or some rubbing compound so i'm gonna try to get that off and uh like i say possibly go back into this app now, what I did see, uh, the last time I was programming that Kelly controller for the, uh, lightweight bomber. Damn, I hate bugs getting in here. Um, uh, John Angel's got an app, believe it or not, on, uh, on Android with some pre-programmed tunes for Onyx bikes. And uh, I think he had like a race tune, a couple different tunes that uh, 
you know, you can just upload straight on into your Kelly. And uh, I may uh, experiment around with some of those. Now, like I said, um, the tunes are definitely going to be different. Because most of those tunes are for direct drives. So, this, of course, being a mid-drive, the tune is definitely going to be different. And I also need to check out uh, how many I'm not sure how many damn poles this Onyx I mean um, this Suron motor has in it uh, now I know I can check that with this Kelly controller it will do a scan and possibly calculate that for me um, but yeah and also I need to play with the frequency because you can tune the frequency and everything that these controllers the sine waves are in uh, if you if you dial the frequency up higher or lower it will make a difference on the sound of the motor, um, especially on the direct drives. If you have a direct drive motor and your motor is making an unusual sound, humming, or, you know, those motors should be silent. If, if they're making some sort of noise, you can adjust the frequency and uh, tune the noise out. So... I got a lot of experimenting to do with this mid drive because it's it's definitely a different tune from the direct drives, and uh, I put I put in the same tune. This is the tune that I did for the lightweight bomber. I saved everything, all the settings that I did for that, and that seems to be a good tune for that bomber. Uh, that bomber, that lightweight bomber was doing about. Uh, 59 60 miles an hour so uh the way this bike is right now it's doing about 55 chris uh smoky Suron, he went by me but you know he went it wasn't like he said zoom and went by me but uh he 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 went by me <laughs> at about five miles per hour more than what i was doing so uh yeah i'm gonna see if i can get a little bit more out of this thing and uh, if not, who knows? Maybe we'll step the game up to 96 volts. Now, I still got plenty of those uh, NICAD packs. And I can do my little race mod that I did on my bomber. And put some of those in series with that uh, 72 volt. And we can kick the volts up a little bit. Make this a 96 volt, uh, Sir Ron. Ah, your side of washing machine. Well, you know what? I'm trying to think if I remember in those Savatons, can you adjust the frequency range on those? I think you could. I don't know, but I mean, these Kellys, man, you can... They, you can dial in just about everything with these Kellys. So, I mean, I will give them that. You can go in pretty deep on those controllers. Cycled into order from the pawn shop. I don't have a mid-drive fat bike. I have a cycle to Gen 2. Gen 2. I'm going to have to look that up. I think I may have seen one of those. That looks like a, a mountain bike. That's a more of an MTB style bike. Hold on, fellas. Give me one second. I gotta put something on this TV. I hate when it's just totally quiet out here. Thanks to Capital One Shopping for sponsoring a portion of this video.
We just built a $69 gaming PC that is so blazing fast that it can play everything from CS. Oh, Linus. I'm pretty sure somebody else watches Linus up in here. But, um, okay, first off, uh, let me, uh, what new feats of potency could it reach for a let me see. Let me get me a rag first. First, I'm going to see if I can get this, uh, whatever this is off of these forks. I need to get a rag real quick. It's our sponsor, Capital One Shopping. Thanks, Capital One Shopping, for sponsoring this portion of the video. Capital One Shopping is a free browser extension designed to help you save money by instantly applying coupon codes to get you a better price. Learn more about Capital One Shopping later on in the video. Thanks to Capital One Shopping for sponsoring that portion of the video. What makes a gaming PC a gaming PC? Well, the GPU, obviously, right? And, I mean, sure, our $30 GTX 760 here will not be outdone in the bang for the buck department. And yes, it can technically play just about any game. But if we want to do better than 720p at the lowest possible settings, this guy is going to be the first to go once our lawnmower business starts paying dividends. Let's look at our lawnmower business After like you need a lawnmower business. Of frame buffer memory for man, Linus, Linus is getting paid, man. Linus, I think I saw where he had 80 employees. 80. That's a lot of that's a lot of salaries, man. Damn. And all those are computer geeks, man. Them guys make big money, man. So Linus is taking it. He taking down. I'm not going to sit here and do this. No, I just want to see if this stuff is going to come off. And I will definitely do that later. I'm going to do the see if I what I can do with that that controller. Our power supply only has a single extra Molex, and while it does have extra SATAs, and you can get adapters like this to use a card like this one. All right, just what I thought is coming right off. This. For minimal risk of fire, then stick with the dual six pin to eight pin adapter. This is some good stuff here. This plain of wax. This McGuire is plain of wax. 480 or 470 or even a 1060 like we had special. Let me see if y'all can see what I'm talking about, man. See that on there? It looks, you know what that looks like. It looks like he might have had some fixer flat or some slime or something in his tire. And it kicked up all on here. Whatever it is, it's something sticky and messy, and it's it's probably been on there for a while. But that damn slime, that's why I don't put fix a flat or slime in my rims anymore, man. That shit just makes a mess. I mean, if you gotta use it to get you out of an emergency situation, then do what you gotta do. But um, that shit is a mess. Alright, now that I know that will come off, I gotta say, I ain't gonna wait, I ain't gonna have y'all sitting here watching me do this shit. Unless I can answer, answer some questions at the same time, possibly. But I'm happy, as long as I know I can clean that up. This bike is good. Matter of fact, if I got any computer nerds out there that happen to watch my channel, and you're a computer geek, and you build and modify PCs, and you know how to program and do all that. Hit me up. I 
think I'm, I'm definitely going to build my own next PC, but I need some advice. There's a hardware and all that stuff. Man, let me see something, uh, Soto. Let me see if I can... It's somebody that uh, I was just talking to on Facebook. And they sent me a picture of their bike. And that bike was basically like what you're talking about. It looks exactly like the style of bike you yeah which you would need for a tall person. Uh, okay. See this bike right here? I don't know how good that's showing up. Let me see. No, it's only going to be that way. But this is kind of like what I'm talking about. It's an MTB, but it's got huge wheels on it. They look like they might be 29 inch rims, something like that. And they also are fat tire. And uh, this is not the only bike that's made like that. Maybe that bike I was talking about was called a Hemingway. Yeah, I think it may be a, a Hemingway, but they make those extra large MTB bikes. Now, this person has this seat down low, but um, you could definitely raise that seat up. And uh, I think this would be a good bike for a tall person, for sure. And I mean, you could always upgrade as far as the motor and stuff, you know, and the battery. Put a bigger battery on it, maybe a bigger motor, or it, it may be just enough for you the way it is. Who knows? I think this person was telling me this bike did like 38, 38, 39 miles per hour. That's pretty good. Central drivers got some uh, computer stuff. No, I, you know what? I've never, I, I never even knew he was uh, into that. I know he, he was into racing and all that kind of stuff. I didn't know he was into PC stuff. So, uh, man, I, I ain't even gonna lie to you, man. I, I watch Central Driver from time to time, but uh, it's just something about him. I don't know, man. He, he's just kind of nerdy to me a little bit, but so are a lot of us. But he's like that extra nerdy, but he, but not really. Like I said, he's into racing and all that. Dude likes to go fast, so he's not a nerd. But you know what I'm talking about. Look at that big old beer I got. You know I don't drink no beer, man. This is iced tea, buddy. Iced tea. All right, I gotta put the battery back up in here. Hopefully this thing don't go nowhere. Drive, we ain't getting, I ain't getting along, man, with this mid drive, man. I just don't think I'm gonna be able to do it. Like I said, I keep it and I rip this thing in the trails, but uh, how often am I gonna be? I mean, we got a lot of nice trails down here, 
that I could so utilize it, but I don't know if I would want this bike just sitting around or when I go on trails. Already done the work. Now, if I could find a belt, a belt drive kit, reasonably, I'd pick it up. But am I going to pay five hundred dollars for a belt kit? Hell no. Maybe if I bought this bike brand new and, and paid top yes. dollar, yes. Ignore this extra black leaf that's hanging off of here. That what was the hell was that? From one of the early experiments, we were still trying to figure this out. Still trying to figure but this that out. don't make no sense. Uh, With the CPU actually let me turn Linus down a little bit. That don't make no sense paying $500 for a belt drive kit after what I got the bike for. Like I said, as of right now, this bike is a good deal. And that's the only reason I'm playing with it. But um, when it's no longer a good deal, it's not fun anymore. At least that's how I seize it. That little green light looks kind of nice down there. Now you see that flashing light in there? That is our, our dongle. Our USB dongle. And let me see if I can uh, connect it to this app. Because sometimes, man, getting it to connect is a pain in the butt tox. You know what, first I'm going to see if I can try this, uh, like I was just telling you guys about this John, this John Angel uh, tune. Let me see if I can get this to connect. I think I gotta do this one like this. I gotta connect the Bluetooth first. So let me do that. And it don't seem like it wants to do that. Wait a minute. Let me turn this back off. I told you this 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 thing is some timey as far as connecting. Okay, since it, since it don't want to connect to that one, let me go back to the Kelly app. <sighs> Let's see. Now you see that light stop blinking? That means I was able to connect this thing. showing up on my my list of Bluetooth stuff anymore. Maybe I need to reset that dongle. Okay. I think this is it. See, that's why I said it acts funny. Damn it. Sometimes I gotta reboot my phone and then reboot that dongle. There we go. We connected. Now, see, it stopped blinking. 
we're connected now this is what it looks like now i gotta re have it read it's going to read the controller now it read it and these are our settings so far well some of them and uh see it's got the hall sensors all that and uh why is it not showing me okay all right let me go over this real quick give me a second fellas Mr. Mike is, I don't know if he's on my live stream, but Mr. Mike, if you happen to be on my live, well, no, I don't guess you're not on there. You wouldn't be sending me no messages right now. Let me let him know I'm live streaming so he can stop. Please. Now the only thing man, uh, that's why I hate using my phone to connect to this controller because uh, it doesn't go in as deep um, like when I, when I use the PC. The PC gives me a, a whole lot more selection of... Uh, changes that I can make. Now the motor identity on this is what I wasn't sure of. The angle. I may have to uh, pull up some specs on this Suron motor and check how many uh how many poles this motor is supposed to have and the uh how many the phase angle and uh the motor identity angle Okay, this is what I need right here. Now, this is the screen I was looking for. Now, this is the acceleration time, uh, which I can change. And that's what I need to change because uh, I, need to, I need to reduce that. So it accelerates a little faster uh, initially because it's got like a lot of mid-range power. I need to shorten that acceleration time. Twenty-five is 
zero point one. Okay, let's set it to zero point one. Zero point one. Oh, why does it give me an error? Uh, 